geese. 100 geese. <laughs> so those are some geese. And this is the hydrojet. It's an electric jet-powered hydrofoil, well, technically hydroplaning boat made of recycled carbon fiber. And I'm Tamara, I designed it. In this video, I'm going to explain how it works and show you some action footage. I'll share how I came up with this design and I'll answer my most common question, which is always along the lines of why didn't you just use a water propeller? So I'll get onto that. But first of all, how does this thing work? So the hydrojet is powered by a 70 millimeter electric ducted fan. And as it gains speed, these two wings raise it above the water. And then it quickly transitions into planing where it's effectively gliding on the surface of the water. Now most boats with wings are hydrofoils. The key difference is that their wings always remain underwater. If they breach, which is called venting, they lose all of their lift and that's bad. Hydrofoils also have to control the height above the water, but hydroplaning boats like this one don't. So the hydrojet's wings are fixed, they bolt on and the angles don't change. Once it transitions into planing, it simply stays effectively flying on top of the water until it loses enough speed where it just gently glides back down. But its lift is coming from the bottom surface of the wings, unlike hydrofoils, hence why it's hydroplaning. Now this happens completely passively and there is no need for any wing actuation. There are positives and negatives to both hydroplaning and hydrofoiling, which I can cover in more detail in another video. For this radio controlled boat, simplicity was key, even though it doesn't really look like it with the outrageous design, but that's why I went with hydroplaning. When I make a manned full scale version, it will most definitely be hydrofoiling so that you can still get the benefits of a smooth ride, no matter how rough the sea conditions are. The hydrojet has a water rudder and it looks like this, so it's both controllable at high and low speeds. I tried an air rudder too, but it's so rubbish at low speeds that it's completely unusable. It runs on 6S with 2,900 milliamp hour battery being the biggest size I designed for the boat. And this is the JP Hobby full aluminium machined EDF, which sounds pretty cool. Shit. So the action footage coming up has the PowerFun EDF, which is a much more affordable version and it does sound significantly more vacuum-esque. Now to answer the EDF versus water propeller question, I need to give you some context first. Because efficiency and performance really didn't factor into my decision at all. So this carbon fiber hydrojet actually has a predecessor. Now please be kind because this design is nowhere near my current standards. I designed this in my first year of uni and I hope you can see that my surfacing skills have improved somewhat since then. Anyway, the story is it was COVID time and I got into RC things as a way of designing and developing vehicles very cheaply because I was a stereotypically broke student. Now, I wanted to design a boat. This was actually my first ever boat and I already had a 50 millimeter EDF. I did briefly consider using a water propeller instead, but I would have had to buy a bunch of hardware to make it all waterproof or a new motor, which I was then just going to dunk into water. And honestly, using the EDF was just a much neater, cheaper and simpler solution. So I decided to basically design the entire boat around it. To finish up really quickly on this boat, despite how ugly I think it is now, I had people coming up to me saying they wanted one and that I should start selling them. So I did and I started my first business selling 3D printed kits. A fun fact, we had online exams and actually launched the business during my aerodynamics one and got my first two orders pretty much straight away. So I had to pause the exam, set some prints and yeah, that kind of highlights my university journey. Anyway, the demand was okay but the boats were the problem. They're just so flimsy because they're 3D printed. And after a few of them were delivered broken, I decided to stop the business. After that, I did a few different things with my life. I have a different startup, building full scale vehicles. We will focus on sustainability. But to get back to this boat. At this point, some members of the local boating club came by. 
Uh, I was hoping you'd yeah. give us a demo. Oh, I heard about it. I, I haven't seen oh, it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, so yeah, a couple of my colleagues have seen it. So a few weeks ago, I was filming here with Dom from Essential RC, and we did a little demo for the boating club. If you're like one of the three Johns yeah. at the club who missed it, here is the actual footage. That was wholesome. Right, I don't have a lot of time because I have to get to my lifeboat duty. So as I mentioned, I run a startup building full-scale vehicles. I'm trying to self-fund everything and I thought, what better way <laughs> to get some money in than to launch another hardware product? Honestly, yeah, a bit silly. I kind of found out the hard way. It's a bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but we move. And there's been quite a lot of demand. I have over a year of a wait list right now. But it's been quite a journey. I've recorded videos of the entire process. So from redeveloping this ugly duckling into the hydrojet. Basically that involves all of the testing of the 3D printed prototypes, the lessons there. And then actually the really difficult bit, which was creating the carbon fiber version. So I'd really like to know what you want to see from me let me know i'll put some ideas down below for the videos i have in mind now people assume i was trying to make a really fast boat because of the way this thing looks and i do like speed my background's actually in motorsport but not everything has to be about speed fast boats need huge lakes whereas this one can literally <laughs> fly on the water plane anywhere even on this tiny pool Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the design, especially compared to this one. And this boat looks and behaves unlike anything I've seen before, which is pretty cool. And my waitlist seems to agree. But if you really do care about speed, then I have some good news. Like I mentioned, the wings bolt on and off, so I can simply make a new version designed to go fast and see how quick I can make this thing go. Now that could make an interesting video. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Thank you so much for watching. My goal with this channel is to grow it so that I can eventually make my little designs into full scale vehicles. Just imagine how cool this thing would be in a Batman movie, for example. If you like the sound of that, then please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.